uh, you, uh, that's premises for a mental evaluation. Huh, that's curious. So now you're trying to mess with my constitutional rights. Now I'm going to sue you. I'm going to sue you for, for defamation of character. Ryan Garcia has recently been in the limelight for all the wrong reasons. And this might jeopardize his match against Devin Haney after the NYC Boxing Commission demands a mental health evaluation from him. The fight between Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney is just around the corner, but the NYC Boxing Commission have asked for a mental health evaluation of Ryan Garcia in light of his recent Twitter posts and other social media activities. This didn't sit well with Ryan as he threatened the commission for exploiting his right to free speech. I'm gonna sue the NYC, NYC Commission, and I'm saying this why. They're trying to challenge me for a mental evaluation. I said, okay, what is your premises for the mental evaluation? Well, your tweets and your posts, I said, is it not my US constitutional right to have free speech? So um, because I'm tweeting what I'm tweeting, uh, you, uh, that's premises for a mental evaluation. Huh, that's curious. So now you're trying to mess with my constitutional rights. Now I'm gonna sue you. I'm gonna sue you for, for defamation he also criticized the commission for clearing an old 57 years old Mike Tyson to fight against a young Jake Paul. They won't test Mike Tyson if he fights in New York, but they would test me. Sounds a bit fishy, and I love Mike, and Mike loves me. I cannot wait for them to take me to the court so I could actually defeat them. He also added that his therapist advises him to smoke weed and even take other drugs to relieve his stress. My own therapist told me I should be smoking weed. She told me to try ashwagandha. She also told me to try shrooms, but I don't do shrooms. I've never done them once and they're stopping me from smoking weed. That should be against the law. The reason why the NYC Commission is asking for a mental health evaluation is because over the past month, Ryan Garcia has gone wild on his social media handles. He has posted weird and horrific stuff and also talked about some very wild things. From a bizarre video claiming that he's dead to conspiracies about Bohemian Grove, Ryan's social media activity has become very suspicious. This has led to him facing verbal attacks from all sides in the combat sports world. Bro, I don't give a bro. They held me down and they made me watch little kids get I don't give a anymore. Where? Bro, they took me to the f***ing woods, bro, and they hi I'm not joking, bro. I have f***ing proof, bro. I don't give a f Bro, I f***ing will show you every f***ing video you could ever f***ing believe. Bohemian Grove is real. They f***ing tied me down and they made me f***ing watch, dog. I absolutely don't give a f*** anymore. Yes, I f***ing lost it. They're raping little kids. Ryan's erratic behavior has led many to believe that he's not in the best of his mental state. Some even believe that he's on drugs due to how his voice has changed over the course of a few months. UFC bantamweight champion Sugar Sean O'Malley is someone who Ryan has called out multiple times over this course of his questionable behavior. One was about Sugar Sean O'Malley. Oh yeah, bring your <laughs> I'll beat his ass in MMA, guaranteed. In MMA? Yeah, I'm a natural. You don't understand. I'm a natural in wrestler. I just beat my security that's a wrestler. I beat him. I'm strong and I got crazy conditioning. So most people in your position would want him to come over to boxing. No, but I want it. That's already been done. Yeah. I know I'm going to knock him out in boxing. That's not even fair. What is fair is to test myself in MMA because I know if I put my mind to it and I trained every day and I had Nate helping me, even Alex Pereira, all of them, and I really locked in, he will not beat me. I will come with everything I have and I would destroy Sean O'Malley. However, Sean is quite sure that Ryan is doing drugs and even highlighted the twitch Ryan has during his speech to back up his claim. Ryan Garcia, did you see it? Dude's like, on oh. drugs. Yeah, There's something happening. Drugs. But I didn't even see him. He seemed like he's legit. Yeah, he looks like, like more tired and stuff. So he doesn't do cocaine. Yeah, he's like, I don't do cocaine. I've drank and I smoke, but I don't do cocaine. And he's like, yeah. He was over the house the other day, him, him and Tyga and that girl Bobby. Did he take a lot of bathroom breaks? Devin Haney, too, called him out for doing cocaine during their LA press conference. At the end of the day, you know, I want to clarify some Stop things. Stop the coke. Your voice. I, I, I YouTuber Logan Paul believes that Ryan speaking about conspiracies and weird stuff is because he's going through a manic state. Ryan Garcia made a claim that as a kid, he was held down in a forest and watched some really nasty stuff happen. Bohemian Grove exists. There's no proof that children are being sacrificed there or that as Ryan said, they are spreading and drugs. Oh, that's 
Those were his exact words. He's obviously in some sort of mental breakdown, a manic state. Ryan has been intrigued by conspiracies. On this very podcast, he told us he thinks the earth is flat. The flat earth theory. Yeah, that one's my favorite one. If you believe that, what else are you susceptible to believe? Yeah. It invalidates potentially everything that comes out of your mouth. With all of the criticism and hate that Ryan Garcia was getting through his social media hyperactivity, he finally decided to take a break and focus on his fight against Devin Haney. Uh, just want to say that uh, I'm taking a break from posting. Uh, I'll still be on here talking to everybody, um, DMing, maybe responding to DMs, checking this up. But other than that, like, I'm just, just going to stop posting. I'll, I'll start posting after the fight. I'm going to go zero dark 30. He continued, I won't be posting anything until my fight. Not because they got me, not because they forced me to do so. I just feel a little unloved. You know, it just hurts. But this break didn't last long as Ryan continued to post on his ex account. Even though he mentioned posted by team or management at the end of his posts, it was quite evident that he was posting them himself. This could be seen in one of his tweets where he writes the tweet himself and later tells his friend to click the post button. Yeah, I want to say shit. Hold up, you need to do this on camera, or else they're not gonna believe me. Okay, hold up. Just so people know, I'm not the one posting. I never said I wasn't gonna be the one writing. Post, you have to press post, do not embarrass me. He then put forward his wish to become the president, claiming that there won't be any secrets. Ryan posted, There will also be no secrets anymore with the American people. No such thing as classified files. You guys will know everything. I got your back. You need to have mine. Please help me become president. Let God's will be done, not mine. Hash King Rihanna's president posted by team. And this was not it, as Ryan also posted about biting off Devin Haney's ear during the fight, just like Mike Tyson did to Evander Holyfield. I could bite Haney's ears. Mike Tyson bit one ear. I'm going to bite both. I'm hungry. Ryan posted on his ex account. All these statements and social media activities by Ryan Garcia do justify NYC's mental evaluation request to much extent. Ex-WBO super featherweight title holder Jamel Herring suggests Ryan to give a mental evaluation to the commission because of his recent behavior. Jamel stated, Me being an advocate of PTSD and mental awareness, but if you're just playing it as a game to promote, I can't get down with that. You can't get mad at the New York State Commission for wanting to do a mental evaluation. Like, bro, you're putting crazy S asterisk asterisk T out there every day, so what do you expect? Jamel also showed his concerns regarding Ryan's fight against Devin Haney. I hope to see the fight, but if not, put someone in there that wants to fight Devin Haney. Fellow boxer Raleigh Romero was genuinely concerned regarding Ryan Garcia's well-being and advised everyone to be there for him. As far as like Ryan Garcia goes, I think everyone should just be there for him right now. What he's going through isn't a joke. Like, I know the kid really well. You know, this isn't a joke. Y'all need to be there for him because he's going through it and it, it, it's the truth like he you actually need to be there for him and y'all need to stop slandering him and all this stuff because he's speaking some sh and it's like maybe even it, it, it's a cry for help one way he might be speaking some information that people didn't even know about and everyone just thinking he's crazy but maybe he's speaking the truth and all of this sh the kid like he don't need to fight let, let the kid sit down and simplify his life and then bring him back to the you don't need to be in the boxing fight right now dylan danis who previously had issues with ryan garcia offered him help if he's struggling with mental health issues dillian posted on x mental health is really important and if ryan garcia is genuinely struggling he deserves all the support he can get i'm totally here to help out in whatever way i can hang in there and get well soon champ with all the fuss going around, Shakur Stevenson is willing to replace Ryan Garcia if Ryan isn't able to make it. Shakur put forward his offer to Devin Haney's father, Bill Haney, 
On X, Stevenson posted a reply to someone speculating Garcia would withdraw from the fight by next week. Damn, I reached out to Bill, didn't get a reply, but we would love to step in, especially in NY. We would sell out, and it's a big fight. But according to Bill, Shakur brings nothing to the table. Bill stated, I can't negotiate with Stevenson. If he agreed to anything, he'd still have to go back to Bob and Jay Prince and ask them. Him getting into my DMs? This is all some bullsh asterisk T. I thought he and Tank were going to fight? What happened to that? Stevenson had a terrible performance last time. What makes you think we want to fight you? You bring nothing to the table. Shakur fired back on X by posting, Bill just told y'all he will never negotiate a fight between me and his son ever if that's not ducking. Then IDK what is. But good luck to y'all. Wish y'all nothing but the best. I'm not going nowhere. I'm here to stay. Ryan Garcia's promoter, Oscar De La Hoya, came forward and dismissed any news of canceling the Ryan vs. Haney fight. Oscar stated, Ryan Garcia, he's in great spirits. He's working his ass off in the gym. Don't mind the posts. That takes like 5, 10 seconds of his time. He's working hard every single minute of the day. But just recently, Michael Benson of Talksport posted a video of Ryan Garcia breaking down and captioned it, Ryan Garcia getting emotional and crying on Instagram Live today. I'm trying my best and everybody trying to break me down. You know what I mean? Like, they try to break me down. They try to make me stop. You know, they try to cancel my fight. And I was just trying to, I was trying to, I was trying to do something good, you know? And I put everything down on the, lot, on the line. And, you know, they judged me hard, but I kept going. This was not received well by Ryan Garcia as he pointed out Benson for shortening the video and posting it without context. Ryan replied back on X by posting, Praise Jesus, those who know the Holy Spirit will make a grown man cry. You shortened the video I was worshiping God on my TikTok live with my community. I love God and you titled this as if I was crying due to mental instability. I find it distasteful and disrespectful to my beliefs. But again, get your clicks and views. See you 420s. This is not the first time Ryan has struggled in terms of his mental health. In a recent interview, he recalled having rough patches in his life for two separate occasions. First, when he was about to turn pro, and second, when he was about to face Luke Campbell back in 2021. Ryan stated, I was so depressed, to the point where I wanted to kill myself. Yeah, I was on, I remember the moment I was driving in a car, I had a bunch of pills that they gave me, and I was going to put it all in my mouth, it's like, I'm done, there's no way, I couldn't remember anything. I lost my train of thought every 10 seconds. I was like forgetful Tom from 50 First Dates. However, Ryan's recent activity on X shows him posting training and sparring sessions. This indicates that he's preparing well for the upcoming fight, despite all the drama going on with his mental health allegations. During the sparring session, he posted on X. Can somebody warn Devin Haney it's not gonna be fun? Devin Haney simply replied to it by posting a drooling emoji. So what do you think about all this drama? Do you think that the fight will happen or will Ryan pull out? Do let us know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and check out some of our other videos on the screen right now.